Friends, let's join together in prayer. Let's pray. We give you thanks, O God, that you provide us with a sure foundation upon which to stand. A foundation that enables us to weather all of life's storms. A foundation that provides us a place from which to engage in action, ministry, and witness. Be near us, O God, as we ponder these ancient words handed down to us by the psalmist and the generations that have recited them ever since. Bless, O God, the words of my mouth, the hearts and minds and souls that hear them and help turn them into action. Amen. There's a, a hymn for more voices that we really like to sing. I think partly because it has some actions that go along with it. But it, it starts with, with this phrase. Like a rock, like a rock, God is under our feet. Indeed, the predominant image for the psalmist is this notion that God is like a rock and we're standing on that rock as people of faith, as people who seek to follow in the way of Jesus the Christ. God then becomes the, the foundation of our lives, and in that sense, in God alone we trust. For all of the other things in life, in all reality, they can fade away. The psalmist names it as, as saying, people, humanity, we're, we're like the wind. If you put them on the scales... They barely set them off a little bit. They just need to be recalibrated. The psalmist reminds us that investing in things like wealth, even when it's accumulating, is fleeting. And so are, in all reality, the relationships we form with one another, as great and as meaningful and sustaining as they are, we all have experienced relationships that one moment looked to be incredible and life-giving and life-sustaining that provided our lives with meaning and direction and then something happens and that relationship is gone. And if we built our foundation, our identity, our life expression on that relationship, then all of a sudden we find ourselves adrift and without any kind of rock to stand on, without any kind of foundation upon which to ground ourselves. It's one of the pieces that the psalmist acknowledges is that, that in our lives, the one thing that we can always count on, even if we don't believe it, if, even if we don't see it, even if we don't embody it, or have very few experiences of it. God's radical love for us is a steady, constant, grounding presence. It's like a rock that we can stand on. And yet we also know that that's not always true for us in the sense of our experience, even though there's a part of our spirit, a part of our mind, a part of our heart that might believe that God is always there, always loves us, always cares for us, is always calling and inviting and welcoming, including and affirming us. Many of us, if not all of us, have experiences in life when, when we have felt very, very different from that. I mentioned one where, where something happens and a relationship falls apart. But that could be said for any number of things where all of a sudden we find ourselves adrift. That could be grief because someone we have loved and held dear who has always been part of our lives all of a sudden or maybe not so suddenly, dies. And that that we anchored ourselves to is now gone. In a physical sense, not there to anchor us in the same kind of way. Or that might be an, a job. It might be our employment. 
It served as our anchor. It helped us navigate life. It shaped our days. It told us when we needed to get up and when we needed to go to bed and everything in between. And all of a sudden, there might come a day when that's not there to anchor ourselves to and we find ourselves adrift. Or it might be some way that we serve in our community, some expression of of that value of joyful service that we name as part of the Trinity United community. When something like a global pandemic comes along and all of a sudden you can't serve in that way anymore. And that thing that you used to anchor yourself to, that expression of ministry and of service in the world that you were so connected with, all of a sudden it's gone. And now what rock do you stand on? What foundation holds you safe? Where do you anchor your life? Or it might be all of the things that we held as normal pre-pandemic that during this pandemic tide have constantly shifted and moved. One day seeming firm and the next day no firmer than trying to grab a hold of and hold some smoke around a campfire. And that's not even something we can count on. The the predictability of, of the days And even that seemed to be no firmer than quicksand. Today is more of a contemplative style of worship. And so we're going to invite you to ponder the reading, the songs, the reflection, and a question. The first one is this. Have you ever experienced a moment in your life when you felt adrift or without something firm to stand upon. What was that like for you? We're going to invite you to sit with those questions for a couple of minutes. One of the things about Psalm 62 is that it acknowledges the realities of life. That sometimes the very things that we fixate upon and want to stand upon and anchor ourselves to are fleeting. People and things may come and go, yet God's radical love stays firm for the psalmist. It's a reminder to the folks of their day and our day, that the one thing that we can always count on is the radically inclusive and affirming love of God. 
It is the foundation upon which we can stand. It is that which we can anchor our experience to. It's, it's that which can always define and shape and mold our days. Our expression of faith and how we live out our common sense of discipleship in the world. How we embody what it means to be the hand, feet, and voice of Christ each and every day. That is the peace that we can stand upon. It is the rock that supports us and nurtures us, that challenges us and affirms us. There's a really, really old hymn that I grew up singing a lot in Newfoundland. It may be familiar to, to some of you, and if you know the words, then I invite you to sing along with me at home. Just don't scare the pet family pets. We have an anchor that keeps the soul Steadfast and sure while the billows roll, fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. That sense of being grounded firm and deep in the radically inclusive and affirming love of God is something that has nurtured Christians throughout the generations, across time and space. And it's something that can continue to ground and nurture us today, right, right here, right now. It can continue to inform who we are because we can trust in whose we are and so friends i invite you to reflect on this question what does a solid foundation for life a rock look like for you One of the things about the mystery of our faith and as we have seen recorded in scripture is that there is no right or wrong way to talk about what that foundation looks like for you in our song of faith we talk about it being divine mystery and then sing a song that describes what that relationship with creator is like for us it isn't so much about being right or wrong about how you define God. It's about being in an intimate, deep, trust, trusting relationship with the divine. For the psalmist names it as a, a faithful relationship. One that you can always count on. That's 
the rock we seek to tie ourselves to, to stand upon. It is where our anchor holds fast, to use that metaphor and image. See, one of the things that happens as we begin to discern who God is for us and how that evolves and changes over time as we have experiences both mundane and everyday and miraculous and amazing, as we journey deeper into the heart of God and as we come to know God more intimately day by day, that relationship shifts and changes. Our understanding shifts and changes. The words we use to describe it shift and change. But the foundation never changes. It's all still God. And in a world that seems constantly turning upside down where one day you can gather together with family and friends and the next day you can't, where one day going to the grocery store is just another thing on the to-do list on your way home from the office, and the next day going to get groceries becomes something that you plan out. Where one day you leave your car and you're on your way into the building and you have to return to your vehicle because... Oh, You've left your wallet or your phone in the car. And the next day, it's not because of your wallet or your phone, it's because you've left your mask in the car. In the midst of everything that changes, God's presence remains constant. That foundation leads us to knowledge. And knowledge leads us to wisdom. And wisdom leads us to action. And action leads us to justice. That's what it means to be a people of God. It's a people who are constantly on the move, ever journeying inward to the heart of God and then outward into the community to share our experience, our joyful service. Because we know that whatever happens in the world and whatever happens in our lives, the one thing is true. We have a steady, constant, loving foundation upon which to stand and share our lives. So friends, our last question. How does God's steadfast and radical love shape your life? In other words, what do you feel called to do in this moment? Friends, whatever that call is like for you, I encourage you to share it with someone, to share it in community, to risk engaging it in the world, trusting that together we're standing on the rock which cannot move. Amen.